everybody, it's Jen from Adventures On and Off My Inch here. Today we're going to be taking a look at three seats. I am on a quest to find a seat that does not make my butt hurt. Some may call it an obsession. Either way, whatever you want to call it, I'm uh, going to give these three seats a try. So before I put them on the bike, we're going to, uh, we're going to unbox them and take a look at each one. There will be links in the description for each seat uh, and the description will also tell whether or not I recommend the seat. So let's get started. Okay, so first off we have uh, this Velmia seat. Um, it is made for touring, so for longer rides. It's called the trekking seat. If I'm not mistaken, it is made for women uh, so that the uh, pressure points are cushioned. So let's get this guy unboxed. got paperwork um, in German whatever all right this is what we're interested in all right put the box aside all right this is a memory foam seat so if you're looking for a gel seat this is not the one this is memory foam my current seat is a gel seat and I think maybe gel is not for me I want to give uh, memory foam a try, but this is, um, it's very like leather feeling. It does have good grip to it. You can see it's got an, an air channel there. That's good. Um, it seems to be nice and padded. The bottom, it's got everything you're going to need to mount it to your, uh, to your bike stem. Um, doesn't look like there's any kind of shock absorption in there, but that's okay. I have, I actually have um, shock absorbing, a shock absorbing uh, seat post. So, um, all right, well, that's this one. So we'll uh, throw it on the bike and see how it performs. <laughs> All right, so the Velmia seat is a maybe. Um, before I could ride with it again, I would have to, um, I would definitely have to point the nose down because it's it was very uncomfortable in the girly parts. Um, but my butt is doing okay. I don't know if it's doing any better than it did, uh, than it does with my gel seat. So I have to think about that one, but. Uh, all right, up next we have the Bikeroo uh, Comfortable Bike Saddle for Women. So this one is specifically designed for women. 
it is extremely inexpensive um, here are some of the, the specs and the mounting instructions QR code um, yeah that's about it let's get it open so this one does come with um, a couple of different accessories not that that's a deciding factor on whether you should buy it or not but um, all right so in this bag here in this pouch you've got your toolkit um, to get it mounted to your bike and you can see it's uh, it's the it's got some universal adapters on there so you should be able to mount it to whatever kind of post you have um, I don't know I don't think that's shock absorbing um, but I guess we'll find out when we get it on the bike. There's also a rain cover in here. So um, if you, I guess, I guess that's one thing. This isn't waterproof. Uh, the last one was the Velmia is waterproof. Um, this is like super memory foam padded. Um, what I like about this one is that it has this kind of dip here. And um, given that I, my posture is terrible and I tend to rest on my tailbone, this may be helpful for me. We're gonna find out. Um, but it's, uh, it's got that leathery feel. It's not quite as grippy as the, the Velmia was, but um, we'll see how it does. It does have, you know, nice air channel there. So, and like I said, this one um, is super inexpensive. So we'll see how it does. Let's, uh, we'll get it on the bike and uh, see how it performs. that is going to be a big no on that seat um not only do am i looking for comfort for my rear end but i am also looking to make sure that my back isn't hurting and right now my back is killing me um and uh yeah i was getting to the point of like it being painful at 10 miles and if that's the case Th this seat is not for me um i did 26 and a half miles last week on my gel seat so um i, I might really i mean honestly it, it could very well be that um i am heavier and so i need to lose some weight before i'm going to be comfortable on there um or that i just have to you know have more time in the saddle and both of those things are completely valid so that might be the case and we'll see but as far as the bikeru seat for me uh it is not absolutely not for me so um we're gonna give another one a try and see how that works all right last but certainly not least we have the whitcop medicus air 
all three of these saddles were pretty high rated um, on Amazon, had like a fair number of stars and highly rated with those those number of reviews. So um, I'm, I'm gonna give them a try. Saddles are very personal things. What's good for me may not be good for everybody else. But um, anyway, this one, um, you can see it is has, has an ergonomic design memory foam inside five zone concept grip and airflow um yep memory foam saddle um okay there's this is a whole lot of information if you really want to see that go ahead and pause the video and uh read at your pleasure um risk of suffocation keep it away from small children and that's the same thing again and this kind of same thing sorry my work emails are going off uh, in the background my bad um, oh and then this uh, here's some more information so there is supposed to be a no pressure area uh and comfort area and no friction area so we'll see how it works um but let's break this bad boy out so let's cut that open and open it up and nothing else in the box we've got fitting and use for instructions blah 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 okay so this seat is not nearly as padded as the other two. And that might not be a bad thing. That might be a good thing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it does, however, seem pretty padded in the right places. So you can see the top of it um, is like this. I had one similarly shaped. Um, but the the um bulges back here were just so big that they just like really cut into my sit bones and it was not comfortable um this one will have to sit on rails uh, so there's no adapter it's very uh very just straightforward and uh yeah so all right let's get this one on the bike and see how this one does Okay, so that's a big giant no. Um, I thought it was gonna slide off that thing. Uh, my bottom is definitely too big for that. And uh, that's, that's gonna be a big no. So um, to sum it up, the Velmia one was the best out of all of them, but I'm not real sure it performed any better than my gel seat. So I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna have to keep questing because for right now, those are not the seats for me. So thanks for watching, have a great day and make sure you get out on that trail.